All right, here's an example of evaluating a double integral using Fubini's theorem. Uh, that is, I'm going to turn this double integral into a, um, an iterated integral. So the problem looks like this. I want to find uh, the volume underneath this uh, function over the rectangle r, where r is this thing here. So x is going from 0 to 1, y is going from minus 3 to 3. Now, Anytime you do this, you've got to decide, do you want to integrate with respect to x first and then y, or the other way around? In fact, we may try it both ways just to see. Um, sometimes it doesn't make much difference. Sometimes it makes a huge difference. Um, let's do this. Um, you know what jumps out at me? Well, two things jump out at me. One is saying, hey, do the x first, and they're saying, hey, do the y first. So which one am I going to listen to? Uh, Let's do the x first. Let's put the x on the inside and the y on the outside. So with the x on the inside, the x's are going from 0 to 1, and the y's are going from minus 3 to 3. you got to make sure you, you get those lined up right. So x, y squared over x squared plus 1. For the x's, what I noticed is that I've got, um, I've got a nice u substitution here. Because if I let u equal x squared plus 1, that whole denominator, then du is... Um, just 2x dx, so I've got the x dx, right? So x dx is equal to uh, du divided by 2. Not dy, but du. All right, my y's and u's look, what was that? Let's try an eraser. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. D u. So when I do that, um, that inside integral then becomes, um, I've got a y squared over u, and there's a 1 half du. Uh, it's still an integral from minus 3 to 3 dy on the outside. Um, I'm going to just do the integral and switch back to x's and not worry about swapping my limits out here. Uh, because this becomes, uh, well, there's a 1 half y squared, which is just a constant. And then it is at least it's a constant with respect to the integral, with respect to u. And then the 1 over u du integrates to a natural log of the absolute value of u. I'm not going to worry about the absolute value part because u is x squared plus 1. And that's always positive, uh, so I don't need to worry about the, the absolute value bit. So I need to evaluate that between x equals 0 and x equals 1. So I got the integral from minus 3 to 3 dy to do once I'm done here. So plug in the stuff here. I've got the integral from minus 3 to 3. So plugging a 1 in for x, right, that's x equals, uh, I've got 1 half y times the natural log of 2 minus 1 half y times the natural log of, plug a 0 in, uh, natural log of 1, and then dy. The, it's kind of nice in this case that I plug a 0 in here and this turns out to be 0. It's not always going to be the case. You don't always get 0 when you plug a 0 in. But uh, anyway, natural log of 1 is 0, so that goes away. So I've got the half is a constant, the log 2 is a constant, and that can come out in front. So I have log 2 divided by 2 times the integral from minus 3 to 3 of, I lost a squared for somehow for some reason, that's y squared, that was a y squared as well. Didn't really matter here because I multiplied by 0, but that was y squared. Um, anyway, uh, I've got a y squared dy, and... And, and I can integrate that now um, because this is the natural log 2 over 2 and I've got a y cubed over 3 and I'm evaluating between minus 3 and 3 and so I've got natural log 2 over 2 times what do I got 9 over 27 no I don't I've got 27 over 3 minus negative 27 over 3 so that's 18 again I've got natural log of 2 over 2 times 18, which is 9 times the natural log of 2. Okay, So there you go. Uh, that's doing it with the x's first, 
and you know let's do it the other way too we're gonna start all over again I've got um, x y squared over 1 plus x squared d I'm gonna do it dy dx this time this is from okay so the x is on the outside so the x is from 0 to 1 the y is on the inside this is minus 3 to 3 okay. now all this stuff with x's is, is um, just a constant uh, so really it's just the y squared that you're integrate to y, y cubed over 3 okay. uh, the x over 1 plus x squared is still there you're evaluating this between y equals negative 3 and 3 and then when you're done you're going to integrate from 0 to 1 dx okay. so plugging in uh, that's just a constant I just you know, factor it out here so I plug the 3 in I got 27 over 3 plug the negative 3 in I got negative 27 over 3 so that turns into your 18 right there, 9 plus 9, and that can just come out in front. So there's a 9, 9 plus 9, there's an 18, and now I've got the integral from 0 to 1 of x over 1 plus x squared. Okay. Uh, well, how do you do that? You're going to do it with a u substitution. u equals 1 plus x squared du is 2x dx which tells me that the x dx which is what I have is equal to du divided by 2 so I've got the 18 out in front I've got an integral of 1 over u well dx there must be a half in here somewhere right so I've got 9 times the natural log of u evaluated between two endpoints which I've neglected to write down so this is 9 times the natural log of 1 plus x squared evaluated between 0 and 1 and we're back to where we were I've got 9 times the natural log of 2 minus 9 times the natural log of 1 natural log of 1 is 0 and I'm at 9 times the natural log of 2 um, one of the things that I notice as I'm doing this is there's there's a bigger picture that I could put this in and I'm going to do that in the next video um, yeah let's leave it at that <laughs>